This question is one of the basic question asked in an interview which is for the beginners or the fresher levels okay so generally i faced this question many times okay so any get they can ask you okay usually they ask you to nand so in my case it has been asked three four times so i just want you to follow the approach uh, maybe you have some process your own process for this but i ask and uh, request you you can just check it out my process if you have something better just let me know okay so let's start with some not gate okay in the starting we will start with not gate in the not gate we know what is the functionality of the not gate whatever the input is there suppose we are going to give zero it is going to be one if one is going uh, we are going as input uh, then we will get zero as output so whatever the input you are putting over here you are going to be simply complement that one okay so suppose we are going to be this x this is the x is the input here and y is the output over here now come back to this uh, mux this is the mux okay two cross one mux i am considering here so it means it has two inputs which we have to put it here one select line this will select the output uh, what is the what is going to be the output from the input okay if it is zero so suppose this is going to be a zero here okay is there at the output if it is going to be one it is going to be at output okay so like this it will work this is uh, x as a select line okay and uh, you have to be just uh, x is going to be zero then output is going to be one and this is going to be zero okay this is the i zero input zero and this is input one okay like this this is going to be output over here okay so this is something you can do this is the two uh, not get implemented by making the use of two cross uh, one marks okay now come back to the and gate okay so whenever you keep in mind that input must be at the selective line only okay one input should be at the selective line only okay so uh, suppose uh, there is some input a and b is there okay two inputs are there this is the output y so output is here only two cross one marks is there and this is one input is going to be a selective line this is your selective line so suppose you are going to make b as a selective line okay now you have to be check it out when b is going to be zero so what is going to be output zero ending with a you are getting zero only again make it b is equal to one then what is the possibility this is a and with one you are getting a only okay so for zero you are getting zero and for one you are getting a again this is i not i one okay so like this you can do now come back to the third uh, gate that is or gate okay how you, we can make it or gate okay so simply you have to make like this okay this is the two input or gate again you have to be consider two inputs a and b and i'm again i'm going to be take it uh, b as input over here or uh, selective line over here okay and again b is if b is zero then what is going to be at output a a or with the zero that is going to be a only again this is one okay so when one is there a plus one that is going to be one only because high whatever the input is there if you are ordering with high uh, input then you will get the output at high level okay so this is again i0 i1 this is 2 cross 1 max and this is your output okay i will consider a y as the output you are considering b is as an input so whenever you are giving zero you will get a here and whenever you are going to put one you will get uh, uh, uh one uh, one uh, one over here okay so you are getting like this or gate now come back to this and gate and gate how you are going with and gate you have how you can do this one again you have to do the a b two input you will put b you will put as input again i am considering this one a y as the output okay and again you have to be check it out if you are going to be zero zero and with a you are going zero again not this is going to be one only okay again Think like this only okay if suppose uh, uh, if zero is there you have to be first end with a you will get zero again we will complement the a you will get one only okay like this you will think now again now what you have to do simply uh, again you have to take it one okay one when you will end with a you will get a only again if you will uh, uh, you will complement this okay you will get a bar so how you are going to be deal with this one i1 this is 2 cross 1 max this is the output and again if 0 is there you are going to put 1 and this is going to be a bar okay now come back to the third that is nor gate okay nor gate simply again you are taking a b 2 input you will consider this is the output again 2 cross 1 max i am taking this is i 0 this is i 1 i am going to take b as input over here 
anything you can take a b as input or x y as input whatever the input you will take okay simply you have to think how this gate actually work and how we will we will get this output in the uh, mux okay again you have to give zero zero or whenever do zero plus one you will get plus means oring here so a or with zero you will get a only again not with the, this one you will get a bar okay again if you want so a or with one you are getting one only after doing this one you will get zero only so again you will get a bar zero like this okay again xor how xor will work a and b okay so again you have to think why is the output b you are going to be used as an input again two cross one max is there i zero and this is i zero and this is i one okay so again zero is if zero is the input zero xor with any input okay any kind of input so what you are going to be get okay so you are going to be if you think about the xor equation this is a b bar plus a a bar b like this it is there so whenever you will give any input as a zero you will get the same output okay you are getting if zero is there it is going to be a only if you will put a zero this is going to be a uh, zero and again this is going to be one so you will get a only again you have to give one if you will give one so you will get a bar okay so like this you will get a a bar think always remember one thing okay whenever you got confused go to the ba basics okay write it down the equation try to put all the values and you will get the answers okay so one time uh, uh, he is referring a circuit there is one uh, mux is also there for this one so this is a bar again if such circuit they want you to make it because not gate is required for a bar this one so what you need to be do again you have to make not gate like this only so this is you are going to be a over here and you have to put this circuit before this circuit so that you will get a complement okay another one circuit you have need to put over here this is the output you will connect you will put a here and again you have to get the not of this one one zero like this you have to put so it depends on the what kind of questions has been asked the interviewer so be careful what he is expecting you okay again come back to the xnor gate xnor is uh, gate is again this is something uh, uh, again a and b two input you will consider this is the output i am going to be consider this is i not i1 2 cross 1 max and again you have what you need to be think you have to be think about the equation a b plus a bar b bar okay so this is the consider so if you are going to be give zero so simply what is going to be zero a bar is going to be here, over here for xnor gate okay and again if you uh, you will going to give one so what you are going to be get simply you are going to be get a only okay so this is a bar a okay simply nothing uh, nothing special in that simply not gate of this one so if you do the not gate of output you will get a bar over at zero and uh, a bar whatever in the whenever one is provided whenever one is provided you will get a bar so here again you will do the complement you will get a only so same thing is there so like this you can implement all the basic gates so most probably you know all those things but thing is that how you have to work so many times you can't retain all those things in your memory so it's uh, very clear, clear with your fundamentals and this is going to be helpful uh, help you a lot again so in the next lecture i uh, i'm going to be uh, asked you this to, to solve this thing okay we will uh, go through this one okay so you have to try this one and uh, i uh, okay this is the second question i want you to put a focus over here okay you have to do trend cross one max by making the use of three four cross one max okay so let's see how you are going to implement this thing okay so see you in the next you lecture follow me on linkedin and you can endorse my skill if you like thank you have a nice day